Andy in my kitchen to bake and decorate some cookies. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to The Cook Couture, where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you the most hot items that you need to have in your kitchen to decorate some cookies for this Easter. I know that for most of us it's a little hard to go to shop our groceries, but I hope that you have some of these items at home. And if you have ever wanted to decorate some cookies, this is the perfect time, okay? I'm going to share with you also in the description box below some links to Amazon if you want to buy them there or order them or you can buy them anywhere. You, and also if you're looking for some activities to do at home, to decorate cookies is a great activity and the kids were going to love it, okay? So I hope that this video will be very helpful for you and I'm super excited and let's get started. are the basic ingredients that you are going to need to prepare your cookie dough. You're going to need butter, eggs, baking powder, vanilla extract, flour, and sugar. And as you know right now it might be a little difficult to find certain brands that you like or certain quality. Uh, and as you know the better ingredient that you use on your recipes your cookies are going to be nicer or they're going to taste better. But right now anything that you can buy, any brand, any kind will be perfect, okay? So these are the ingredients for the cookie dough. You're going to need a rolling pin, like this one or any, any kind. And these rings are very useful. If you can buy them, it will be very nice and it will help you a lot. But if not, you can use the sticks to even out your dough, okay? I remember that I bought this set of uh, baking trays that it came with this um, cooling rack. It's also very, very uh, useful. Okay. And also a baking mat will be very useful, but if you don't have this one, you can use parchment paper, okay? And obviously you're going to need a mixer. A standard mixer would be very good, but if you have a hand mixer, that one also is gonna work perfectly. Now, to cut out your cookies, you're going to need cookie cutters. These are things that you might not have at home, but if you don't have any Easter cookie cutters or anything like that, you can also design your own templates. The only thing that you're going to need is a pencil, a piece of paper, and scissors. This is something very, very cute that I think the kids were going to love it. They can design their own cookie cutter they can make their template and then you're going to cut out the cookies using the template that they use and a knife. You can click the link above to see how I make a paper template and how I cut out cookies using that paper template, okay? So this is to cut out the cookies. Now, for the decorative part, you are going to need to make your royal icing, but if you don't want to prepare royal icing, you can buy icings that are already made and they are perfect for cookie decorating. These kind of icing, sometimes they don't dry as hard as the royal icing, but if you are going to eat the cookies right away and you don't need to pack them and anything else like that, these kind of icings work perfectly. You're going to save a lot of time. They work very, very nice. And if you're going to prepare royal icing, please click the link above for a very good tutorial. You can make your royal icing using meringue powder. This is meringue powder. These are pasteurized egg whites. So this is very safe for you to use. Uh, there's a little bit pricey too, but the cookies come out super, super nice. These are two brands that I like to use, the King Arthur's and the Chef Masters. But if you don't want to use meringue powder to make your royal icing, you can also make it just using egg whites. Please click the link above for a very good recipe, okay? For the powder sugar, you can use any kind of powder sugar, but if you find one that it says confectioners 10 eggs, this is the perfect powder sugar to use to make royal icing, okay? If it doesn't have this, it's okay. Any powder sugar that you can find, it's great, okay? One thing that the kids love to use, well, not only the kids, I love to use them sprinkles, too. okay? So the more sprinkles that you can have, the more fun that they're gonna have making the cookie. Shimmering sugar, you can buy them and they're, the color's very, very cute. You're going to need um, 
food gel color, any kind, will be great. And the edible markers are one of my favorite things to decorate cookies easily and the kids will love them. These markers have double points so they have a fine tip and a bold tip. So these are super nice. The color you're going to need a spatula and uh, if you want you can use a pastry bag okay and please click the link above to see the magic royal icing consistency that it will save you a lot of time okay so these are the materials that you're going to need to make some cookies for this Easter okay that most of these items you have them at home and that you put yourself and your family to decorate some cookies this is a great activity it really relaxes you and it really gives you a happy time so i hope that you decorate a lot of cookies and if you need more inspiration you can browse in the playlist or in my video and also in the description box below you can check the links to how to make the royal icing and how to make the cookies and some other easter cookies idea i am sending you to all a great hug and please know that i'm keeping the whole world in my prayers and i hope that you keep me in yours okay and so this is it for today guys don't forget to subscribe push the notification button follow me on my social media like it share it and be always very creative in your cookie decorating and see you until next time bye, -bye.